hey guys and welcome back to beast kitchen as always i have a new recipe for you but before we get started why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so guys today i'm going to show you how i make this delicious pot of coconut curry oxtail so we all love brown stew oxtail but today i'm going to show you the coconut version stay with me and let's get started for this recipe i will be using the following ingredients i have some fresh oxtail which has been cleaned with water and lemon i have some fresh thyme some diced fresh tomatoes diced green bell pepper diced red bell pepper i have some scotch bonnet which i've diced into pieces you can leave yourselves whole if you don't like spicy food i have diced spring onions um, diced onions chopped garlic i have coconut milk and i'm using two types of curries i have better pack curry powder and bedia curry powder you can use one um, of your choice i have white pepper black pepper adobo seasoning bedia complete seasoning oxtail seasoning all-purpose seasoning and vegetable oil i will list everything in the description below going to season the oxtail using my seasonings i will also add all the diced vegetables and also the curry powder i'll mix everything together cover the oxtail and leave it in the refrigerator and allow it to marinate overnight if you don't have enough time you can allow the oxtail to marinate for at least two hours in the fridge start on the oxtail curry i'm just adding a little bit of oil to my dutch pot i will allow the oil to come to heat next i will be adding my curry powders so i'll go in with the better pack curry powder first then i will add the bidia curry powder i will allow the curry powder to infuse in the oil on low to medium heat for about three to four minutes before i add the oxtail going to add the oxtail to the infused curry powder and oil I will then mix everything together I 
I am now going to cover the oxtail with enough water. I would then allow it to simmer on low to medium heat for one and a half hours to two hours. Oxtail meat is hard and this is the required time it needs to reach the desired softness. One hour into cooking the oxtail, I am now going to add the coconut milk. I will stir, cover and allow the oxtail to continue to cook for the remaining hour. Now, 45 minutes later, I am just checking on the oxtail just to ensure that the meat is cooking well and is soft. I've used my fork to pierce through one of the meat and as you can see, the fork slid right through. The meat is falling off the bone and guys, it smells so good. I'm just going to cover and allow the stock to reduce for a further 15 minutes and the oxtail will be ready. And two hours later, you have yourself one pot of delicious curried oxtail. Guys, I thought I love brown stew oxtail, but after trying this recipe, I am now in love. And I'm telling you, you are going to love this curried oxtail. Don't knock it till you try it. Thank you as always for joining me in my kitchen. I really hope you try this recipe and I really hope you love it as much as I do. Don't forget to share this channel with your friends and family so they can also subscribe for some delicious recipes. Also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment below if you have any questions, subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Bye!